Imagine, if you will, a little girl taking her first steps. <laughs> then imagine, if you will, a little boy learning how to ride a bike. <laughs> then imagine, if you will, a teenager learning how to drive. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Now let's reverse it. Think about yourself and how you are the observer and the kids are watching you. And guess what? They see you achieve your greatest achievement in life. It could be something simple as, hey, I finished college. I didn't blow up in the nuclear reactor. <laughs> okay. Or it could be something as simple as, man, today was a good day and I was happy the entire day. But I, I propose to you, though, if they was to look at any great achievement that you may have had, they will see something amazing. And then we know what that is? We call that a teachable moment. You see, in life, there's a lot of teachable moments, plenty of teachable moments. And I know for me, personally, when I look back, I see several teachable moments that made me the man of who I am today. You see, a moment is something is simply a short interval of time. But a teachable moment is a monumental interval of time when there's a life-changing experience. Let me give you a few of my life-changing experiences. Let's go back. Elementary school, the 80s. Basketball is king. This was before NFL was king. Right? <laughs> and <coughs> Dr. J. Julius Irving was flying through the air, dunking the basketball, and I proposed to myself, I said, hey, I'm going to be just like that. Guess what? So I practiced. I started shooting the hoops. I did the dribbling. I did everything. I said, guess what? I think I got it down. So you know what I did next? I said, hey, Pearl, she's a girl in the neighborhood. Come on over. Let's play. Because the kids all used to always play in my backyard. I said, come on over, Pearl. I think I can beat you. Come on over. So we're just playing. Let's play played three games. First game, she whipped me. <laughs> Second game, I said, let's try it again. She whipped me again. <laughs> Third game, she whipped me so bad, I grabbed the ball. <laughs> and I started walking, but little did I know that my mom, you know how moms are, looking out the window at me, being frustrated, being angry. And she came out, doing what moms do, and she said, Pearl, look right past me. He acts like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he always gets frustrated. He always gets upset when he don't things don't go his way. And I heard it. And that was my first teachable moment. Because I said to myself, man, I'm never going to quit again. I may lose, but I'm never going to quit again. The second moment came when I was in college. And being the young man that I am, I said, hey, there was this girl over here. She was beautiful. I said, man, I got to get to know her. So what I did, I went up to her. I said, hey, let's, this is me and you. Let's date. And she said, OK, but there is a requirement. I'm joining the debate team. You want to join? I said, OK, <laughs> sure. I joined the debate team. But little did I know that there was this phenomenal debater. His name was Nigel. He was from Trinidad. Never forget <laughs> He was so good that he made other debaters tremble in his way. <laughs> he was that good. And I was, so during the first round, I said, let's go watch him. Let's see what the competition's going to be about. Well, he destroyed this individual in the first round. And I said to myself, oh, another teachable moment. I'm not going to let that happen to me. So I went and I prepared, studied, went through all this research. Back in the 80s, you know, you had to do it by manual instead of <laughs> And we, we searched and searched and got all this information, and we were able to beat him. I was amazed. My mouth dropped. But you know the secret to that whole thing, though, was my coach. My coach told me that, hey, if you're going to beat Niger, you've got to be prepared. My last teachable moment that I want to share with you guys today is I had a coach in college, and he was a running coach. And being a basketball player, 
I wasn't real prepared to run marathons, but he believed in me so strong. He said, Terrell, I think you got what it takes to be a marathon runner. I said, okay. So I trained with him. And we trained and trained and trained and trained and trained, and guess what? The day came for me to run my first marathon. Well, the first 13 miles went real well. <laughs> but the last 13 miles didn't go so good. And, but I won't forget, Ray ran on ahead, and he helped me. He said, Terrell, you can do this. And I learned my last teachable moments that, hey, the power of another man's encouragement can take me to greater heights more than what I could ever hope to do on my own. So today, if you're afraid, be prepared. Because guess what? You're in a teachable moment. If you have doubts, okay, and fears, okay, be prepared. Because guess what? You're in a teachable moment. And finally, if you need encouragement, if you need encouragement, remember, be prepared because you're in a teachable moment. And a Toastmaster.